y'all this is Dina welcome to my channel I'm back working on some pages for my album I created this one yesterday and uh, this is the inside um, the only thing I've done since then to the inside is on my hinges I clip each one of them at an angle so my pages will slide down on there very nicely so that's the only thing I've done as far as that since then so as far as my pages, I've got three already done and I'm doing mine pretty simple, just with pockets, a few flips, and that's pretty much what I'm doing. Um, as you can see here, I've got this one right here and I'm leaving these like this so pictures can be put in here. What I want, I'm thinking about doing is like maybe adding some like growth charts since it's from my, my brother and my sister-in-law's dog. And so I am thinking like a little growth chart so they could chart um, maybe how many pounds she weighs when she goes to the vet and this and that. And so that is what I'm doing now on these. Just got some little pockets to put things in, can put some pictures or whatever. Um, and, and here's another one with another pocket and here's the back. So as far as these, I did not layer these up on any other cardstock. I just left the brown because I kind of like the, the, the craft colors sticking out on the edge. So that is what I've done with these. And I'm working on one right now. I've got this one right here ready, but I thought I would just show you quickly how I put together one page. Now, if, you're, if you make albums, you already know this. So this is to anyone that doesn't know. So what you needed is a piece of paper and this is six and a half by seven and a half. I've already pre-scored it on each end, a half an inch, okay? This is how we make the base to our pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and, nice thing about this, this craft cardstock is it's very, it's very stiff like and, and all that, at least mine is. And so it's nice to be able to get it pressed down. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm using some score tape. I did purchase my score tape on Amazon and this is a 3 8 inch and someone wrote me and said that they love the 3 8 inch too because it's right under that half mark and it gives great coverage and I agree, I love it. So I will link my tape below that I'm using as well. Okay, so you get your tape on here, get it pressed down really well. Then you're gonna need another piece and this is six and a half by six and a half. Keep in mind, I did my I did my album as a seven by seven, so that's why my pages are gonna be a six and a half by six and a half. Okay, so always kind of take off the edge a little bit here. And I'm gonna go ahead and on the opposite side, and y'all just keep in mind, this is just how I do it. There are a lot of people that may not totally do it this way, but this is how I do it. So I've got it lined up over here. Kind of make sure that's kind of, make sure it's all lined up. And then where I peeled up that edge, you can go ahead and just peel it off and there we go. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Smooth it down so you don't have any buckling. And I'm just gonna make sure that I'm getting this as, as straight as I can. Let me pull that. Okay, and there we go. So now I'm gonna pull that off and I'm just gonna smooth it down. My paper is thick, y'all. Okay. And there we go. So now I have a nice, good six and a half inch square. So for this particular page, I thought I would do like a little side pocket instead of a rear pocket so things can be slipped up inside and you can make these any size that you want, okay? So I am just going to do mine and let me see what I've got. Mine is going to be a two and a half inch pocket, but I cut my strip of paper at three inches by seven and a half. And I've gone ahead and I scored a half an inch on three sides and I've added my tape. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my pocket on the side. You can make your albums any way, any way you want, any layout you want, you can go for it. 
So I'm just gonna pull up a little bit of my tape and make sure it's all lined up right on my edge. And imagine that. And there we go. And then all you're gonna do is peel off the other tape. And hold it over. One side, put the other, and there we go. So now I have a side pocket. Because these pockets right here, this is where you gotta slip it down onto the hinges. So this opening here. Okay, so now let's add some decorative paper on this. And I'm trying to use my paper sparingly. Well, not really sparingly, but I'm just trying to use just use what I what I need. So, and some of these like it like how it's short, but because I have this side pocket, I can slip it up in there. You won't know any difference. So I'm gonna do with deal with a piece of paper to go up inside and I like to just lay it on top and just kind of make a mark and cut make a marker where I want it and just cut it okay Let me get this up in here just like this and it works out well for this because as you see it was too short but I can just slip it up inside and you won't know the difference so you can just line it up you can add go ahead and you can add some tape let's just add a piece of this inch inch score tape and way then you have a way to just anchor it down so how's the weather in your area last night we went out with our daughter and our two grandchildren two of our grandchildren and let me just tell you oh and look at that I added tape on the wrong side I'm gonna leave that I'm gonna add some more over here um, but anyway we went out and it was so cold that wind was just like, just like brisk cold, bone chilling cold. It was so cold. And um, yeah, one of my grandson came, he came home, came back with us, spent the night and then we met them for breakfast. And um, they, had, they had things to do today. And my husband had, had work to do. So, okay, I'm not gonna peel this off. I'm just gonna peel off these. I hate that I wasted, but it's all good. Cause you don't really have to worry about putting your adhesive underneath. It's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna get that tape underneath that edge there. And I want to Make sure it's good and lined up. And looks not too bad. Let me see if I can pull this up just a little bit because I see a little tape sticking out. I don't want it to like make the pages stick together. So there we go. That was a good save right there. So now I'm gonna just need a strip right there and I'm thinking I can do red because I do have some that's some bones and I hated that I cut on the back of this but how cute of them to for them to just why would they put why would they do that I just I just don't get it but I'm just gonna use a side of it they always put the cute paper on the back of the cut aparts so, okay so I'm gonna cut this one
talking to my brother and his wife while ago. That Lottie, they really got her where she is so obedient and she's seven months old. She's rolling at seven months and she mines so nicely. Okay. So I think that that will look good going right there. So let me just add some, let me get some glue. Try not to lose my pen. there is one of our pages so now we are able to stick things up under the side pocket as well so let's do something on the back and let's just do a flip on the back so let me see what paper I want to do on the back I kind of like to try to see okay what have I done try to mix them up just a tad so, I know I don't want to do my flip looking like this. I want it to look a little different. So, let me see. I even did like one, I like this one. See, I did solid blue and I added a border. So you can put a picture in there. And I'm not going to put any more than I read because I need those cut aparts a little bit for decorating. Well, friends, let's see. Okay, and this one, I hate the fact that this is on the back of cut aparts, but I have not used this on the back. Oh, let's see here. I want to see. See which one I'm less likely to probably use. Dogs are not our whole life, but they make our lives whole. I think I'll see if I can use this, the bottom area over here so I can preserve the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the branding strip. Just gonna use the other side, but I'm gonna use this in measure. I like the I'm a lucky dog one, that's so cute. So I don't want to cut into that. And here we go. Yeah, that wind last night was so strong, yeah. I think it could have blown us away. It was that strong. And whew, it's cold today, but it's not like cold like yesterday was. Cut this. Just kind of cut what I need. That is gonna look. Look at that bath time. I like that too. I'll use the cut apart, but let's use this one on the back here. I like the colors. I'm use some of my glue. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. I mean, you could really get technical with magnets and everything to hold your pages down. If you want good, um, if you want a good uh, way to make albums with magnets and flips and folds and the whole thing, go to Betty Hollow Crafts. She's amazing. And she can create, I think, I, I seriously believe that and think that she can, she can, uh, 
she can do anything. Okay, so I just put this on, so I guess I won't do a flip on this one. I'll do it on my, my next page, because I would have needed to put it underneath. So I've been leaving some of them open just to put pictures and stuff like that. Okay. And there we go. So that's how we have that one. So now I have four. And on each one of them, the back, actually, I've left open. So I've got four. So now I'm going to do, this will have six pages. So I've got two left to do. So let me go ahead and let's work on one and put a flip, put a flip up on one. I'm trying to use my scraps. I'm trying to use my scraps over here. Okay, so I think then I'm going to, let me see how the width I want. I like to just kind of measure to see how wide I want it. So I'm gonna cut it that width. And this one actually is a little bit different color than the other craft cardstock. It must be a different brand. It's all good, it's gonna be covered up. I told my brother, I'm sorry I'm not making your book in purple. He said, oh, that's okay. I think I'll do this one a side flip where it will open up to the side. And I, I just take mine and kind of measure and just kind of see how long it is. And that's where I'm going to need to score. Then I'll kind of know how much to cut. So pretty much it's hard for me to give you dimensions because I just kind of measure and go. Okay, I'm gonna need a score line. So grabbing that scoreboard. And I'm just gonna score myself a line and this is a little less than an inch. So this, this paper ends up being five and a half. About five and almost five and three quarters. And the height is right under seven. And then I just scored at like a little less than one inch. So it kind of gives you an idea where I was going with that. Okay, so I'm gonna go, we're gonna make this one a, where it has an extra page. And then I think I'll do maybe the same thing on the last one. Okay, so let me get my let me get my tape. A little glue sticking out there. Okay, so adding my tape. Can add another strip right there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. It's gonna be just fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna line this up, kind of put it in the center, a little piece of tape on there, and line it up, center it. When you get it centered, just press them down, and now I'll have a page. Okay, so let me see which paper I'm going to use. Like this. Maybe I will go with this one. Let me see if I've got any more of the with the brown paws. And this collection is I Love My Dog by Echo Park. Very cute collection. Okay, well, I have this scrap here, and let me see if it's going to be. Oh, this one will fit on the front. So, if that is going to work, let's do this one for the front. And then we'll put one on the back. Gonna make 
make sure I was seeing my pencil mark. That. And cutting that. So this one is going to go right here on the front. Like this. Now I've been adding, um, sometimes I've been adding like some little trim and I have some of these card bases and that's what I've been adding when I want to add a little bit of something on the edge. I wonder if I want to do that one with this. That way it's random. Ooh, I do like that. So, and yeah, I am using cards. I could use a scallop punch and just make that, but I have these cards in my stash, and that's what I've been using. See, and if I do that, it gives that little extra. Hmm, I think I'll leave that off. I'll do that on the next one. Okay. Make sure you get along the edges. Mm -hmm. So what is everybody cooking for dinner? It's a chilly day outside, so therefore I am going to do chili for dinner. We went to eat breakfast with our daughter this morning, and so... We didn't really eat lunch. I had a little fruit. I'll probably go in there and cook and cook early. Okay. So there we go. There's that one. I'm going to need something for the back. And I might do a solid. Um, I'll go do this on the back. So on all mine, I always just measure it instead of just pre-cutting because you never know if your measurements are not exactly where you want it. I would prefer to do this. And I have seen Miss Sweet Becky over on Bunny Holler Crafts do the same thing. So if Becky does it, she's like a pro. So I've seen her do it. Kelly crafts it all. I've mentioned her. Amazing ladies. Okay. This one's going to go here. And here. So you want to make sure you put this underneath and then we'll cover it up. Adding my glue. Telling my brother, I said, Yeah, my albums that I make are fairly simple. And I said, I don't get all technical with magnets and stuff, and I might end up doing that one these days, but yeah, I'm good with doing it this way. And I think it turns out good. But I said, But I've seen some that they really do some beautiful things. Okay, so there is that. Now we're gonna add, I think I'll maybe see if I got a solid piece of red. Okay. I think I'll just do a solid red on the back of this one. And just cut it. And then on my last page, I'll do that off camera and then we'll put these in the book together. And then I'll decorate and show you the end result. Okay, I'm gonna cut. The 
this is when I know I need to change my blade. Sometimes it makes my paper kind of wonky. Okay. Ooh, I need to cut that one down. I'm going to cut a little bit. See, see that? Mm. I don't like that. You know, I'm wondering if it's only on red paper. Maybe it's my paper. Okay. Wrong way. Okay. Okay, so this is going to go here. up. And there we go. So on this other one that I did, let's see which one it was, this one. See how I put a little border? So I'll show you all how I did that because I can do that on this one. So what I did is I took my card base Let's see, I've got a good one here. So this is a card I have in my stash and you can use a scallop punch, but I'm just taking the easy way and it's already scalloped for me. So all I do is line them up and cut it off and give myself some nice scallops. So I'm gonna flip that over and I just line it up here on my my trimmer and I'm going to cut the ends and then you can use your card base for something else if you would like. So I'm just going to cut. Okay. And then all I did was put this around the edge. Just kind of measure it. gonna glue them on okay. okay so there's one now I'm gonna do the other so just use my I'm just gonna overlap it and you can glue it. You can add your glue this way. And then just trim off the end. So then what I do when I get down here to this end, I just kind of lift it up trim it and then I'm going to do the other two sides and my glue and like I said if you don't have any card bases like this if you want to do like this little scallop thing just use a scallop punch or use some like Decorative looking scissors. Okay. Just whatever you would like. Okay, one more side. And see how that changed it? And that little rickety edge that I was worried about from my trimmer or the paper is now gone. Because I covered it up. And there we go. 
Look at that. I'm gonna come over here and now I'm going to trim it off. There. And this one right here, I need to trim this. There we go. And that's, there we go. And now what you can do is you can put a little embellishment. Let me find the sticker sheet. And maybe put a little something in the corner. And I think I'll go with this one. Warm nose, wet nose, warm heart. Ooh, and I need to layer that up. So where's that white piece? I think it'll look good layered up. And I'm just going to trim it. And then I will just, oops, I didn't trim that very straight. You see that? I'm going to do a little bit straighter. And then I'm just going to add some glue. And I'm just going to put it like down here. So it's a quick little easy way to just decorate a page, leave the rest for a photo. And there we go. So now I have this whole signature ready to go. Like I said, you can do you can do a lot more flips and folds and beautiful stuff like that. But I am making it simple but functional. So I like the way it's turning out. This is the side pocket. Got to flip up my side. So I've got one more. I'm gonna do it off camera and I'll be back. And I'm gonna go ahead actually. Um, I'm gonna go ahead actually and and um finish that one page I'll come back and show you how I put them in the book and then I'll work on the decorations and show you the end okay so I have finished um, putting paper on my pages and I haven't went in and decorated added embellishments and stuff yet but I'm gonna do that after I put my pages in but I thought I would just show you quickly how I put the pages I mean most people know um, if you make albums but if you're new to this this is for you. So I've decided, okay, and this is the last one I did and I put this cut apart on here and I thought, how cute is that? And I put a pocket on the back, okay, because I've got like three or four pockets through here. Um, but I really wanted this to be the front, front page and all, all the others, I was doing nothing on the back. So this one's going to be different. But I just think that that one is just so cute. So I'm just going to add it up there. It was one of the cut-aparts, the 4 by 6 cut-aparts that was in this collection. I layered it up on some navy blue cardstock. So what you're going to do is you can start on the front of the back, whichever you want. I've added my double-sided tape on, on here. And I'm just going to pull off a little bit. And this is why you angle your sides, and not everybody does this. This is why I. This is what I do. Um, and all you're going to do is you're going to open it up, and you're going to slip it on. You don't want to put it flush all the way, then your pages won't turn very well. I'm leaving about. See, it's about an eighth of an inch. And I'm holding it in place. I'm gonna pull my little tape off and make sure it's even. And there we go. So let me show you the back. So let me grab, I need to grab, let's do it, my tool. Let me grab my little pokey tool. Let me figure out what I did with it. Here's another pokey tool. I'm gonna reach up in here and see if I can grab that the paper. Okay, once I get a hold of that, I'm gonna reach in there and I'm gonna grab it and pull it out. 
and press down. Now I officially have one page. Now I'm going to do the same for the rest and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the pages in the book and I have to say I made a slight boo-boo. I made six pages and I had only made five hinges. So I had to leave one of my pages out. So this is what I did. I wanted to put this one on the front because I just think that's just so cute. And so I wanted that on the front and it's got a pocket. And so this has pockets next to each other, but I'm all good with that. And then um, we've got this one. We've got a flip up here. We've got a pocket and then the flip up. I chose to keep the flip up. The one that I did not choose to keep was this one right here. And I just love it. It's so cute. But I'm thinking of repurposing it and maybe making this like a pocket on the back instead of letting it all go to waste. Because I didn't add any pockets on there. But I, I cut this paper up and I love this blue. It's so beautiful. So I'm thinking that I'm going to cut this apart and I'm going to use that toward a pocket or something because I don't want it to go to waste. Let me see what I did with my scissors. There they are. So I'm going to do something on the back here. And I think, and I wasn't thinking when I made the pages. So I was going to, and I, I'm aware that I have the same color in a row here. That's what I'm going to do. A, I'm going to fix it. And it's not a whole loss because I want to be able to use this blue so I'm thinking about making a diagonal pocket with it and I'm um, just just saving it and it's okay that the papers are right next to each other okay Move this out of the way so I'm gonna cut this and I made that cute little pocket too So I'm going to figure out, like if I use this here, and I cut it at a diagonal, and then I won't see the brown trim, but, let me cut this way, I won't see the brown trim, but I can always add a nice little scallop edge to cover it up. So I'm thinking this is the way I'm going to save it. And I like that. So I'm going to do a scallop edge right along the edge here. Let me see. I've got another one of my card bases. So I'm just going to need just a scallop just going right along the edge here. And I think that'll do it. That'll be it. So I'm thinking that I'm just going to go ahead and add myself some glue so I can adhere it on and then I'll cut what I don't want. So I'm just going to line it up. See, it was a safe and it's going to look good. Okay. And see, and I've got that and then I'm just going to go behind and I'm just going to cut what I don't want. It's kind of a shortcut. Because it's behind anyway. No one's going to see it. And I could have cut this off before and saved myself a little, little thing here. But it's all good. See that? Look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim this one. And then back here. That was a save, y'all. This is a save right here. I want to make sure that, see how it's not straight? I want to make sure that that's more straight. And then I'm going to, I'm going to adhere it just right here along the edge. And I'm thinking that I, it's not, it doesn't look very straight. I gotta fix it. And 
I'll just trim off where the the brown is. Let me go down here. So I have a little anchor here. There. That is much cleaner. I'm going to add it right here. So it's not a loss. Let me get my score tape. So I'm going to use this 3 8 inch. I really love this. Love, love, love the 3 8 Okay. So that's how I'm saving that because I have the same colors next to each other. So I'm going to, it's going to go like this. So I'm going to determine. I don't think I'll put it flush. I think I'll leave it like this. I like that. Where you can still see it. So now I've created another pocket on the back. And I did not waste the cute blue paper. And now, my friends, we have a pocket. So that's cute. I like that after all. I like it. I like it a lot. Super cute. Okay, so now that is how it's looking. I'm going to now decorate it up. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I think I will end this one here. And I will come back and show y'all, do a reveal of the doggy album. A reveal, um, hopefully, maybe today. Um, if not, it'll be tomorrow. But I'm fixing to go. It's 3.30. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to work a little bit longer. And I think I will go in there and start making chili for dinner and that way I can get that we can eat early my husband's probably getting hungry so there's plenty of room and I'll show you guys the end result of how everything ended up turning out looking but I love it I think it's cute I think it's so cute anyway thanks so much everyone for coming along with me I appreciate it and um, I hope you have a great day bye y'all